Hi lovely people, it's Marlissa here. So nice to see you all. Um, thank you for coming today. And uh, we're gonna do uh, what's called a galaxy pour. Uh, basically, um, you get a canvas relatively, you know, this is a 10 by 10. Um, and something like this, like a, like a, like a cookie cutter of some kind. And uh, some people also call this the open cup. Uh, they use just like, you know, they cut up a cup and they use the rim of the cup and that's it. But today we're gonna use the um, cookie cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and just start. Uh, gonna use some black, turquoise, pink, and regular blue. So I'm gonna just start with the center here. Make a little dot here, let it spread around a little bit. I'm also going to get the corners just a bit. You guys like my little condiment pours? I'm in love with them. It's so much fun with paint. It's like makes it so much easier. I don't have to, I only have to mix one time and they can stay outside. They're really fun. So I'll go back and do the sides later. Um, just worried about the center right now. So yes, I'm gonna put a little bit more paint there. Just a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna put the there's already a cell activation inside everything, so hopefully we get some cells too. That's kind of like the point of all this. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue in there. And we're gonna go ahead and put, oops, this had double cap on it. <laughs> we're gonna put some pink. put some turquoise so this keeps the color inside really well so all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm um, gonna lift this just a little bit and we're gonna see the magic happen as the cells start developing, if you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put a little bit more black in here. This probably won't take too much paint because um, it is a smaller canvas. Um, let's just see what happens now. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue in here. And the cells are just popping up really nicely. That's my bird. <laughs> He's funny. I think I might just do this one and then just spin it because I also have it on a cake spinner so that um, it could distribute the color evenly. All right, let's see here. I see I got a little leakage there. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I did this a second time. <laughs> you know what, maybe one more round won't hurt. Just to make sure I have enough paint. What do you think? Yeah, let's try one more round. <clears throat> so I distribute the paint, just, you know, a little thin. Sprayed some paint on there. Oh well, we'll give it some 
some character. Definitely gonna do this again because this is so much fun. You can do it in like all kinds of different colors. All right, let's do this one last time. And there we go. I'm also gonna just grab this and bring it over. Okay. I'm gonna grab a tool. All right, so I kinda did a little design there. Now we're gonna go ahead and just spin this around. I don't want it to splatter me. Now I, I kind of actually have to move it this way a little bit. <clears throat> oh wow, it's opening up the cells a little bit more. It's looking real nice. I want to spin it until it meets the the sides there bit perfect it's also it veered off a little bit to the center but this is my first one so don't get scared um we're gonna do another one and i'm gonna try to see if i can get it as perfect as the people at smart art materials so um love them over there all right let's see gonna fix this up a little bit here so we don't waste any paint. I'm gonna grab some paint from the bottom there. It's a smart thing to do, guys. Always reuse your paint if you can. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, please like, subscribe, put the little bell icon so you know when I'm going to post. And just uh, know that I appreciate you very much and uh, look forward to the next pour. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye.